Hi, I'm Nikki, owner of Elite Estates, and I wanted to take you through this next estate sale that's coming up March 6th through the 10th. Um, I'm super excited about this sale. Um, it has so many nice antiques and stuff from Europe and all over America, 40s, 50s. Um, you'll see. Come on in. So we start at the front and we'll come in through the living room. Um, a lot of the clocks in here are from France. They're antique in working condition. Um, we've got these cute little pirate faces, swords and liquor bottles, Royal Dalton mugs, the Civil War Union soldier lamp, Howard Miller clock, gorgeous German oil painting, antique mirror, this oak ice chest is just gorgeous inside and out. As you can see, it's well taken care of. Here's another piece that's antique European hand carved with the heads and the lion heads with the brass. This automatic electric company telephone with a handle that I have not seen before when looking it up. This gorgeous Victorian marble and brass lamp. Here's another European clock. So this clock goes with these two candlesticks. Gorgeous piece. So easily at auction it can go for $5,000. Um, we have them here for $2,400. On the mantle we have the rest of our gorgeous marble clocks. The gilted bronze. There's inlay in that mantle clock. Down here we have the collection of pewter set up. This old antique cast iron kettle, big brass pots, some Ethan Allen furniture on top with this cute little phone table included with the nice antique phones on it. Um, let's go upstairs. On the walls we have covered in these beautiful antique copper pots and copper ladles and just such neat. This estate has everything false graph and crystal down in the dining room nook of course you got your corning you got your Villaray Bach lots of blue and white that seemed to be the theme here silver nice nice silver sets silver tongs and we even have where is it oh it's <laughs> it's an asparagus and you just clip your asparagus when you cook it. And of course you've got your um, your um, glassware from Fostoria and different types of Depression era items. This is from France. This cobalt blue. More Fostoria. Cute little trash cabinet. Brass wall hangings. And we'll go into the dining room. This is amazing in here. So even the carpets are for sale. The rugs are all very nice, well cared for. Um, this hand carved dining set, classic European antique with the casters on the wheels. And it does fold out to put the leaf in. And this cabinet is probably one of my favorite pieces. It's just beautiful. Not a thing wrong with it, well taken care of. And look at that guy. <laughs> and this gorgeous tall case clock and of course we've got your doilies and a palace for the birdies and they're gonna live in the palace too might as well treat them all this artwork so there was travels in Germany and Holland and all kinds of um, European countries back in the 40s and 50s and 60s. So all this art is from there, um, including like the lamp and this gorgeous dry sink. Here we have a nice table display set up with some Fostoria crystal glasses and some wedding dolls from the Victorian era, along with an Ashton Drake and Jackie Kennedy doll. The glass case is flipped so that uh, we can get the dolls out. 
Um, here is another super tall cabinet, and it is hand-carved oak. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and these little figures, there are some Italian porcelain, some capotamonti, and more silver. This is our depression glass. We have the amber and the clear, and this gorgeous serving bowl and the pink. And then I'll take you over here to another French antique clock. Love it. It's just gorgeous. And it's still, all of them have their keys. All of them work. Those just need the, um, the weights put back on. Um, here we have some Flow Blue. And, of course, Scarlett O'Hara. Some more Capodimonte and some German statues. Here's our antique round back French armchair. So it's well kept. I love this clock. This clock has the inlay in it and it opens up. You can see the how how it works and how to um, twist it and get it turning. And as you can see the paintings on the wall. Oh my goodness, we have so much artwork. It's just phenomenal. In here we have the kids room and we have two of the vintage desks along with these cute little dressers. Oh, yeah. And lots and lots and lots of dolls. Who doesn't remember the Cabbage Patch doll? And we have some Black Americana. And we got Miss Piggy. And lots of this real looking monkey and Paddington. This is probably one of my favorite. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's parachuting. I love him. And of course, this gorgeous antique day bed. And quilts, very well made and um, well cared for. Okay, we'll take you into the teddy bear room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> teddy bears everywhere. So we've got another French clock and some gorgeous oak antique washstands along with this beautiful oak Victorian bed. Those are rake spares. And we've got... Teddy Tompkins, and then we also got North American Bear Company, the red ones in the back. And this is Miss Beatrix Potter's um, Easter Bunnies and Peter Rabbit. Look at all these bears on the chairs. Look at that one is in a wheelchair. I love it. All those chairs, washstands, more bears, and of course clothes. We have so many clothes. And they're all really priced to sell. Um, vintage flags. We'll kind of take a peek in the bathroom. The bathroom just has some cute hardware that you can put on your walls. This lady in the bathtub for only $3. Um, lots and towels and carpets, rolled up rugs. In the master suite, we have this gorgeous antique brass bed. Um, I haven't priced it yet, but it's going to be priced to sell. And, of course, these gentlemen's chairs. Um, got a little bit of the Disney. And then more art. Furs. You got some faux fur from Calvin Klein. And this, um, I guess it's just kind of like a over-the-shoulder shawl. This fur coat is from Grace. This is a nice mink. And um, it could be rabbit. Not quite sure, but it is very nice and very warm. And your classic hats. On the mantle, we have all these little figurines, <laughs> including Geppetto and a gorgeous mantle clock. Um, the dresser is filled with these cute little trinket boxes and um, this tall chest of drawers and the seven drawers. Love it. More clothes. In the cabinet, we do have some Barbies. Um, these Barbies are stamped 1965, but I don't think they are the uh, original ones. I think they're the ones remade in the 80s. Um, and you got your collection up here. More of the wedding dolls. And then all these collectible ones. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here is some Simpich characters. Along with all these <laughs> carolers. E.T. <laughs> and 
And of course we've got the Alice in Wonderland set up. The Wind and the Willows, The Wizard of Oz, more Wizard of Oz characters, and all these collector plates, my goodness. And another French clock. Okay, so you've seen enough in here. Um, let's take you to this closet, my goodness. So in this closet we do have some nice fancier dresses for the tall ladies, um, belts and gloves and scarves and just perfume kits, skirts and slacks, purses. My goodness. Take a peek in this bathroom. It's just, um, you know, some candles and some cute wall angels. So what I'll do is I'll take you down into the basement and outside. We haven't done outside, so I will take you there because there's still so much to see. I'm super excited. Okay, so out the kitchen nook. First, look at all the gorgeous blue plates on the wall. And the lining here are all our German steins. Tons and tons of collectibles, my goodness. Love this 19th century secretary. Um, it's petite, so it can fit anywhere. In this room, it is packed ceiling all the way down to the floor. We have stuff underneath. Silver, of course your pottery, some sign, some not, some false graft. These are cute little walking sticks. Love those. Some German hand-carved spoon and fork. Here's our little sam salesman sample of a crescent stove. And look at all this pottery. I love this little setup. It's a cute little picnic basket, wicker chair, and a wicker table. And your traditional macrame. This gorgeous oak table um, is definitely antique. And all the cane chairs are in really good shape, which sometimes you don't see that too often. Outside is just some normal stuff. Bench, table, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pots. So if you're planning on planting for spring, this is a perfect spot to pick up those pots because we didn't price them very high. And this cute little table. Um, in the backyard, you can see we have do have two lawnmowers, two, um, there's one inside the garage. Um, there's an arbor. It's just gorgeous out here. I love this. It was fun setting it up. Um, so I'll take you inside and what we'll do is we'll go to the basement and then we just got the garage. The garage is full of tools too. Okay, so let's go down in the basement and we'll take you down here. Hopefully this is not too long of a video because there's a lot to see. So in this closet is just coats and all the shoes. This one is gorgeous. This is faux fur from Jones, New York. Of course, we got more rugs. This little area, we decided to put the fans and the purifiers and all the electronics, TV, TV stands, the CDs, anything electronic is gonna go in this room. So, good stuff. This area rug is just humongous, so it's only, 13 by 17 for only 329 and no stains, so you can't beat that. This gorgeous, gorgeous hand-carved armchair. The Arts and Crafts era dresser with the marble top and the Tiffany style lamps. And of course your your bed warmers and your vintage brass lamps, along with all those little figurines. This bed is just gorgeous too, another oak hand carved arts and crafts era bed and who doesn't love the Beatles <laughs> thousand days of Beatlemania over here we've got lots of the crystal and these little German guys hanging out um, we got your trays Norman Rockwell and coca-cola tins there is tons of these little furry rugs all in good condition um, this I have not seen before in all the times that I've done a state sale. So it's an antique pump organ. Um, and I believe it is, oh goodness, definitely European. Um, I'll have to look at the appraisal and see. 
Now there's a nice little brass plate and candles. So this singer was not used. You can still see it still has that, it still has the tags. It has not been used at all. The foot pedal, the case is in great shape. Um, lots of some little sewing crafts and another sewing, two sewing machines. We got Elvis and this beautiful Sansui um, vintage player which works amazingly. We're going to have it on during the sale. And here's a cute little dresser. That mirror does not go with that. That's a cute little dresser all on its own. Of course your barrister bookcase. And look at this loungy green velvet lounger. And another antique little vintage dresser with mirror. And if you want to relax next to the baby we've got a little crib. I love it. This room is gorgeous. Okay, so we're done in here. We're going to go to the garage. And everywhere you look, there is stuff. There's stuff all over the walls. Um, and here's just the washroom. It's your cool little classic Kenmore limited edition laundry facility. All for sale. They work great. In here, the fridge works. I've set up the Christmas, which um, this Christmas is just all the cute little antique and wonderful little ornaments. Oh, look at these guys. Love that. And this. Love this. So that is our Christmas. We've got a little bit of military, antique military. We've got the waiter set. Classic 80s setup. A little slab. And here's just our um, leftover kitchen. So this is set in the garage. We didn't pull it back in. It does need a little bit of work as you can see. But if somebody wants to take on the project, that'd be amazing. We're going to probably price that pretty low. And there's more cans, kitchen stuff. This is the dollhouse still in its original box. Nobody ever made it. So more Christmas. And that's where we're going to set up our table. So all these cabinets are for sale. All these cabinets. And then in here we've got the ride-on mower. More cabinets. Garage trash compactor. Um, Coleman. It's a little workbench. This has a brand new battery in it. So it works fantastic. Um, for the guys we got tools. They're all in pretty good shape. In their little toolkits. Like new mower. You got your cedar, you got your dollies, blower, edger, sprayer, you got your charger, and your ladder. And one of my favorite things is the spike. I used to have this spike when I was little. I love it. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you guys like it. So March 6th is the email subscribers invited only. So you have to go on the website and put your email in and I will invite you for that. 3 to 7 p.m. And we're going to um, have hors d'oeuvres and finger food. So it'll be fun. Play music. I uh, hope to see you there. The rest of you are March 7th through 10th. Thanks.